everyone knows about it around here. We all, we've all been there. It's kind of a spiritual kind of thing. Like, um, I don't really know how to explain it. It's really cool. You have to see it for yourself. We heard that it, if you see it from the air, that it um, forms a dragon. He's done all these big cement sculptures that I think some people think it's a little creepy. I, I, don't, I don't find it creepy at all. I, I think it's kind of neat how he's built his own Stonehenge out there. He's, from what I know, he's a little bit strange. I finished the 84 structures on the field in 2004, but I do intend to do one this, this year. I have uh, the remains of uh, an individual and basically their ashes. The ashes go into the cement when I'm mixing it and then I put their um, their name and etc on the, the base. Here's my person. I hope the box isn't leaking too much. So there's what this will be the first person that's that for the but it, the intention has been around for a while. I'm a person that believes you're dead, you're dead. There is no, you know. I think it's kind of interesting where where loved ones can actually come and have some type of shrine. The question is, are we ourselves going to become extinct like other animals uh, over time? And for the next form of intelligence to come by, by studying the basis of the actual sculptures, they can get their alphabet, they can get the idea of, of uh, measurement, uh, our location where, where we are in the universe, and by doing that they can try and find out what human beings are actually like. Basically it looks like a sphinx on the side, like sitting on the side of the road. Basically, I have a lot of land to do it. I have a close to 300 acres, so I, I can just keep going like this for forever. The fields when I first came to this piece of property were basically rolling. And when it snowed, they looked like waves in the field. And the idea of somebody drowning in the ocean with the, eye, uh, with the heads and the hands coming out is what the original intent was. When I built this first tower on the, the one side of the, uh, the building, I, it was basically a tower. It was quite druid in the sense that it had two heads, one on either side, an either or, a yin and a yang type thing. Castles were used for fortification. So the idea of having this area that is a protected area with a wall around it and the gates is one idea and then you've got on the outside these sculptures which are advancing towards the the wall the threat the uh, the idea of safety and protection and the threat on the outside on the outside most of us inwardly are like that and we put up our barriers we do our prone protection you know we have barriers you know, so I mean, in a religious way, uh, you know, it's, it's very, very similar. I've spent a fair bit of time, and this is basically, basically my life, you know. I, and at some point, there won't be any more sculptures on the field.